<clears throat> Hello, everyone. All right, wanted to talk about the signs, which are called Rashis in Vedic astrology. They're called Rashis. That means um, it can mean a heap or a arc or a container, almost, or a unit. Uh, so there are 12 units or 12 Rashis, basically, that we're working with in astrology and that make the zodiac. Uh, and a Rashi also literally just means a 30 degree arc, like in Vedic mathematics, they will say, you know, to make an uh, angle 35 degrees, you would say like one Rashi plus five or something like that. Um, at least that's what my teacher told me. I'm not an expert on Vedic mathematics. <clears throat> but Aries, uh, Aries is the first sign. Aries is described by Prashra in the Brihat Prashra Horashastra in this manner. It says red or rakta, which means red colored, large limbed, four footed, valorous by night, dwelling in the east, a relative of kings, moving in rocky places, endowed with rajas, back rising, and fiery is the ram ruled by Mars. So every every sign is going to have unique qualities, and the planets will represent the consciousness, the beings, the people, and the soul or the spirit that is that we're dealing with. And then the sign that it falls into the Rashi will show the uh, body or the container of that consciousness, um, because to that's just kind of how it works, you know, for consciousness to interact in this world and have karma it has to have a body attached to it in Vedic philosophy so that's what we're doing when we read a birth chart and Aries is the natural sign of the person the first sign it's the so it's the sign of the start of everything it's the sign of the the self the questioner the character the subject sign of the hero the warrior all these things Aries is the sign of <clears throat> the head in terms of the body parts side of the head of the creator and so it deals with um, intelligence and cognizance and um, you know getting insight and vision and um, intelligence things like that you know just getting the getting the sharp image of something can have to do with Aries um, so yeah red colored Aries is the color red just so you guys know and um, if I've whenever if you ever hear me talk about predicting colors of things and the signs are what what I use so I predicted before um, pretty accurately when someone would get a red car or red house based on Aries being the sign of the planet that was the house planet or the <clears throat> car planet whatever large limb Aries is one of the bigger bodied signs Four-footed, it's a quadruped, so Aries and all the quadruped signs deal a lot with being stronger and being able to bear burdens more and, um, you know, just being tough, you know, versus the human signs, which are about being smart and intelligent. Um, so, yeah, while Aries is all about using one's intelligence or the sun's exalted, it's about willpower, too, you know what I mean, and just powering through things. And it's not like a not that like nerdy type of intelligence, you know? Um, <laughs> it's a Kshatriya, um, a relative of kings, you know? Um, so it, it's associated with royalty. Valorous by night, uh, <clears throat> that one, I don't think a lot of people really understand that. And I don't think I understand that fully, so I'll, I won't say much about it. But in the context of Mahurta, if you want something to, you know, happen at night, this, you know, the night strong signs can be more helpful for that. Uh, dwelling in the east, the fire signs all represent the eastern direction. That's pretty helpful to know. And then um, moving in rocky places is extremely, extremely useful bit of information we have. Yeah. Rocky places symbolize like these places that are hard to get the juice out of life, you know, hard to get the, 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 <clears throat> the, the essence, the the nourishment, you know. So Aries is a hard, tough person, like a ram who can go into a rocky place and make it work for them. You know what I mean? Um, rocky places and, and the ground, you know, like rocky ground is is an auspicious. It's not a place where you can grow things. Um, 
And so Aries actually represents like really barren and fertile environments I've found when it comes to working with environments and people. And you know, you guys probably know this, but I have a series of videos on the environments of Rashi's as well. You can check out here. There's no other information on that on YouTube or really anywhere. Um, and that's mainly all from personal research and using the, the sutras and what they say. So Aries rules uh, mountains, like really rocky, steep, jagged mountains other rocky places, uh, places where rams would be. It actually can represent skyscrapers in the context of cities and being on the roofs of things. Um, oh, it can represent climbing walls. Um, and it can represent even skate parks, I found, and because I'm a skateboarder. So when I go, or you know, whenever that's come up in research and I cast charts and stuff. Uh, Anyways, in my own research, uh, it's rural skate parks, uh, these sorts of things. You know, these concrete skate parks are very uneven and rocky and made of concrete, which is like rock, you know. Um, <clears throat> it also can rule like haunts of thieves and stuff, but I won't go too much into what it rules because I've already, you know, covered that in videos. So now, um, now that we've touched on Aries, you know, there's still so much that I could talk about when it comes to Aries or any of these signs, but that's enough for now. You guys have got a basic introduction. Let's look at, let's look at, this is the chart of John Lennon, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so he was an Aries ascendant, and so he was very strong-willed, had strong opinions. Mars represents being opinionated. Um, Mars has to do with right and wrong. Um, K2 and Aries made him very, very like impulsive and uh, just kind of a natural leader. You know, Lennon was very, was like a perfect kind of charismatic leader, very bold and just kind of did what he wanted. And he gained from that. Um, but he also pushed too far a lot of times. And he was kind of the reason that the Beatles ended up breaking up. And he was, uh, he was somewhat abusive, you know, even in relationships. And that can be seen because K2 and Aries means that one can be, you know, like I just was talking about videos represent where you can want to do something so much to a fault you know so he was almost Aries to a fault or he we could definitely say that um, you know he he was a pioneer of music as well you know with rock and roll music as well so we can see that Aries that pioneering energy coming in and uh, if you know a little bit about his life, he, he also has this placement here where Mars and Sun are shaming each other in the seventh house. So that's a lot to do with why he was kind of an abusive person or even like abusive in his relationships at least at first. Um, and so it's not entirely true with that page in All right, so um, here's another example. This is Louis Armstrong. <clears throat> The moon rules music, just so you guys know, as the career planet for a musician. So he has a he has a bright moon here on his ascendant in Aries. Uh, I've covered his chart before in the past, so I won't spend too much time on it, but he was a pioneer of jazz music, you know? And so again, Aries is pioneering, uh, moving in rocky places. Well, he grew up in like the slums in New Orleans and stuff, and he did not come from anything, nothing supported him, you know, becoming a famous person, becoming a great person. Um, he was not, yeah, he, he was, uh, <clears throat> he had a barren sort of environment. He, made, he found the gold. He mined the gold out of that rocky place that he was in and came up, you know, found jazz music and became a legend um, and a wonderful artist who contributed a lot to our world and society. So that's another kind of Aries example again. Like a great example that my teacher gave was that Aries, you know, is the type of person who, is in the town, the old western town, and goes off to some hill because he's just tired of people and having to deal with their stuff. And he, you know, he starts exploring these rocky places, and the whole town's like, "What are you doing? You're a fool! What are you doing out there?" And but he's he just hitting stuff, and he mines gold. You know what I mean? And he comes back, and he's the richest person in the town. And now he can all the merchant Libra people in the town, the opposite, have to you know follow his rules and you know serve him. So that's sort of a way that you can see areas in these rocky place sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> Angelina Jolie, a real um, 
female pioneer. Uh, she has done a lot of heroic lead female actress roles that weren't awful. And that says a lot, or that's great, you know, and not saying, not saying that because uh, women can't do that, but because, you know, a lot of movies just uh, do that in a cringy <clears throat> way is what I mean. But she's a, she's a pretty good actress. Um, she's been through a lot in her life too, in her personal life with Saturn on the Ascendant, with this strong stellium of planets and Aries has a lot to do with her being a pioneer, a badass kind of person. Um, though she, <clears throat> I understand that she has a, what you could say, um, been kind of act going a little, going through some things, let's say with Rahu moving through her Senate in the last couple years. Uh, so I, we won't go into that right now though. Um, here is the chart of Benjamin Franklin, an Aries Lagna, a huge pioneer, you know, a pioneer of democracy, but he also did that pioneering stuff with the electricity and I guess discovering electricity. <clears throat> but from my standpoint, I'm sure people discovered it way before him. So it's probably better to say rediscover electricity. Um, but anyways, did a lot of great things. Uh, and he also had that Hansa Yoga with Jupiter in the fourth. <clears throat> uh, very intelligent person. He's also uh, very opinionated in his own way. Like he would say things like, I know he was famous for saying that, or he claimed that he never got a common cold because he always drip dried when he got out of the shower. So he'd never wash himself. He would just sit there and be cold. And he said that it was just really good for him. And he felt he was great for his immune system. He never got sick when other people would get extremely sick. So that is not a very fiery Pitta Aries thing that I don't know what is, right? Um, <clears throat> and he's all about like principles and philosophy and this vision. And we can see that too with not just the exalted Jupiter, but Mars in the ninth house in the house of wisdom. Um, you know, that's, yeah, that's pretty pretty clear too. Um, again, just trying to focus on Aries here, so not spend forever on each ex example. This is Weird Al Yankovic, who is kind of interesting because he was a real pioneer of parodying song and had songs um, and entertainment. <clears throat> so he's had K2 in Aries, <clears throat> so he's really good at like being the first, you know. And he just he is just taking that spot. No one else has really been able to do that. Isn't that amazing? He's been able to be that parody artist since the 90s or even maybe the 80s i think i'm not sure um and then rahu and libra shows that working with entertainment art and <clears throat> the public things like this are gonna be good for him um and it's kind of funny how the lord venus is debilitated in the ninth house of one's culture so it's kind of like he the the work that he's doing is about is being delighted by Mercury in this fallen, weird entertainment culture way. You see what I'm saying? So making fun of his culture's art is what's going on there. Um, <clears throat> Moon, very strong in the seventh. That's the planet of music again. So this guy really knows music. He's not just a parody guy. He's a brilliant, intelligent musician. And the Saturn in the Ascendant is what has kept him relevant for so long, just so you guys know, because Capricorn is the sign of doing things for so long and having longevity. Um, Saturn takes 30 years to go around the zodiac. Uh, Capricorn is Makara or Nakra or whatever, the crocodile, which has not evolved for millions of years. I've talked about that a lot, but and we'll go into that more when I get to that sign. Um, again, trying to stay focused on Aries here. <clears throat> but to be a good reader, you have to like be able to read everything and move around. And now uh, let's look at Einstein, another great pioneer of thought, ideas, a lot of new ideas he had. He actually had Saturn debilitated in Aries though, but it was strongly delighted by Mercury and Venus. And I think along with being a Cancer Senate, this really shows how dreamy and watery he was, you know, and how imaginative he was and how he never was smart. Like he never was like truly, really intelligent and brilliant. Like he never claimed to be and he, and he failed out of high school and all those like classic stories go. So you see that can be seen because Saturn is there in Aries. No, he's not a, like he didn't have this sharp logical left brain that just well no i shouldn't say that his mars is exalted so he did have he did have good logic to rely on but but you get what i mean the saturn debilitated there shows that he was not like someone who had this brilliant perfect mind and willpower he sort of dreamed and um trusted his intuition and then he had a good logical mind to make sure it made sense once it came back to reality i think um, but again, he was very first, really uh, pioneering person, very opinionated, had his own ideas, his own opinions, 
Um, and he also is in a rocky place in a sense that he didn't ever try to take the normal route to succeed. And by, uh, he gained through his eccentricity, which is also shown through the Rahu and Jupiter and Aquarius conjunction. Okay, so that's just a quick, a quick you know, um, few examples on Aries. All right, thanks you guys, take care.